Hello ladies and gentlemen, we are here at the SSAA Illawarra Outdoor Expo. There's a pretty good crowd here at the moment and plenty of stalls, so let's go have a look at it. And we're here with Peter Whelan, who is on the board of Shooters Union Australia and president of Shooters Union New South Wales. How are you going, mate? Yep, good, thanks. What a great show we're having here today. It's not too bad for the first time round, is it? So what has Shooters Union Australia been up to? Shooters Union Australia is the uh, our umbrella group, uh, and they're more involved with uh, lobbying, activists, uh, getting in the face of politicians, uh, getting some of the reasonable... Uh, firearms laws introduced like New Zealand for example like Switzerland uh, and getting rid of some of the ridiculous paperwork that licensed law abiding shooters have to put up with Well we see how much of a farce in New South Wales firearms registry is at the moment with a five to six week wait for PTAs that's just one little example I actually had a phone call, no names but from someone in the firearm registry the other day uh, one of our members had uh, put in for her Class H licence, claiming that she'd uh, sent all the documents in for the P650, which is the probationary. She'd done all her correct procedure. Someone from Farah's registry phoned and said, oh, she might have sent it in, do you have copies? Because you know we're in a hell of a mess up here. Well, there you go. <laughs> so the New South Wales uh, Shooters Union, or New Shooters Union New South Wales, is the club of Shooters Union Australia. Um, are we expanding quickly in New South Wales or it's uh, slow and steady yep. uh, we have a lot of uh, new younger members coming in and typically they come to us and say oh I want to shoot a uh, uh, a Glock uh, 40 cal or I want to shoot a Ruger 44 I say hang on how do you know about these things oh I've been playing computer games <laughs> and this is the ones I select to play my games and why can't I shoot them? So we have to sit them down and say, maybe we start with an air pistol and then we start with a 22 and you go through all the paperwork and you prove you're not a criminal and then maybe you can get up to shoot metallic silhouette with the Ruger 44. So it's a lot of interest from younger people. Uh, we've got about 700 members so far in New South Wales. Uh, that's across the whole state. Yep. Uh, we're a no-frills shooting club. We don't uh, put out any clothing, yeah. we don't uh, have any belt buckles or coffee cups <laughs> we don't produce a magazine um, we shoot at uh, we don't have any ranges and we tend to shoot at ranges run by double SAA uh, or the shooting uh, the uh, other shooting clubs like the Sydney International Shooting Centre yeah. at Cecil Park and they've opened up things so a lot of our members can go and shoot there yeah. uh, so uh, that's what we're doing So, so how can where if people aren't happy with the SSAA, um, is Shooters Union New South Wales a viable op option for them to get their Category H and A and B and stuff like that? Without wanting to criticise our friends at SSAA, and they, they do produce a lovely magazine, um, but uh, we need more activists among the shooting community, Absolutely. Uh, and this is the only way we're going to get uh, any of the laws changed or stop even harsher laws being introduced. Uh, so we'd like to say yes, Shooters Union, and then you become part of Shooters Union Australia. Yep. Uh, and we've been very active in the Queensland election and had success uh, last year when the Queensland election was on in the campaign which was called Flick'em and uh, put the majors last. And it was the lowest vote for Labor and the LNP in 100 years. So vote for minor parties, vote for independents above the major parties and that'll get the message across. So when you say the lowest vote for the major parties, has that, did the Flickham campaign actually get other people into the parliament or did it show the major parties that, yes, people are willing to vote, vote for the alternative? Yes, good point. Um, early in the campaign, uh, when the Adler uh, debate was going on about uh, restricting access to the five shots and above lever action, shall we say, simple manually operated shotgun. Yes. Um, when uh, our people in Queensland were talking to the LNP uh, and said, what are you going to do about it? You know, there's votes out there that influence the votes. They said, no, 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 we're not going to support Labor in, uh, in banning this uh, Adler or rec reclassifying it. Uh, so with the help of 
uh, the, some of the independents and Catter's party. Uh, hopefully it would not get through in Queensland. Uh, Shooters in Australia went back and said, OK, looks like we'll have a, cam- a campaign that says put Labor last. Yes. However, when it went into the uh, Parliament, uh, and there's no upper house, so it was just the Parliament, in fact, LNP said, oh, we better do what uh, our masters in Canberra have told us to do and restrict or reclassify uh, this uh, dangerous shotgun, rapid-fire rapid shotgun. Fire shotgun, into uh, the higher, more restrictive category. When that went through, immediately the Shooters' Union uh, Australia people went back to LNP and said, sorry, boys, we're going to make it a put-the-majors-last campaign flick them. You're both no good. You're not representing your constituents. You're not representing shooters. And that was how the campaign developed to put the majors last. So LNP didn't get into government. Lost seats. Catter's uh, party got a couple up. Yep. And we got One Nation up. They're yep. pro, pro firearm as well. Um, so that's what can happen. And that's the, it's the best voice shooters have is their vote. Absolutely. Absolutely. Um, it's a fairly interesting poster that we've got here, um, outlining what was going on in past in, in regards to, um, well, firearms in general. Um, what's this all about? Okay, it's it's promoting the fact that we used to have a live, lively, and vibrant, and government-supported uh, civil defence organisation, where uh, people with their three hundred threes were actually encouraged to come and improve their marksmanship. Suit si- shoot side by side with the military at the ranges, which are government ranges. Yep. And that's, as I've said, Australia's last line of, fe- of defence since 1855. And uh, Australians in First and Second World War were renowned for their, for their uh, marksmanship. Yep. And, you know, there's VCs been awarded yep. for marksmanship. It's part of our heritage, part of our tradition, which we've lost. Well, we haven't lost it. It's still there. Yeah. It just needs a bit of government support. Absolutely, back. absolutely. Well, ladies and gentlemen, that is Peter Whelan from the Shooters Union Australia and Shooters Union New South Wales, and we thank you for his time today. Good. Thanks for your time, and good luck to your uh, podcast. Thanks, mate. <laughs>